everybody, it's Jennifer and today I wanted to share with you my December favorites, so please keep watching. So my first favorite for the month of December is this Revlon Colorstay Whip Foundation. This was recommended to me by my sister that rarely ever uses liquid foundation. So when she was raving to me how wonderful this foundation was, I had to check it out for myself. And I have to say I'm very, very happy with uh, investing in this foundation because it has a beautiful finish. It's medium to full coverage. And the best way that I found applying this is by using the e.l.f. primer, which I did mention in my last favorites. To set it, I used the NYX HD photogenic uh, setting powder mostly on the t-zone and the high points like my nose and underneath my eyes and to finish off setting the rest of my face I've been using the Maybelline Fit Me and this is the matte and poreless this is also new to the drugstore so with these three together it's a very good matte finish and pretty much flawless poreless uh, creaseless. I'm really happy with this three combination. Another favorite from NYX is this NYX Radiant Finishing Powder and it looks a little weird because it has six colors. It has like a white shimmery color, a, a mint green, a yellow, a baby pink, a purple, and a blue. So looking at it, there, you're thinking, no way, I'm going to look like a clown putting these six colors on my face. It's not going to work. But when you swirl it, and what I use is the Real Techniques uh, Under Eye Setting Brush, I think this is called. But what I do is I like to swirl it, and then I dab it right into the yellow because I am a yellow undertone. And then I apply it on my under eyes to really brighten up my under eyes. And I really like the finish of this and it makes my under eyes look fresh and like I'm well rested. So I highly recommend it. I think it's a really good finishing powder for just the under eyes to make it brighter. The palette I have been enjoying the most for the month of December is the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette. And it's definitely a neutral browns. There's no warm or cool shades. They're definitely neutral. And the shades, the lighter shades, definitely I need to build up on. I can't just get like one swipe and it's completely uh, full pigmented. But the darker shades are definitely very good as far as um, pigmentation, blendability. So I would say like the last six shades are definitely winners in my book and especially this black eyeshadow right here in the corner. This is my go-to black shadow to um, conceal my lash glue when I put on false lashes. I use this on my e.l.f. angled brush just to dab right above the lash line. So if there's any exposed eyelash glue, this is the one that I grab for and I'm very, very impressed on how black this eyeshadow is. It's very pigmented. So I highly recommend it. I've been playing around with this palette, um, doing neutral every day and also very dark smoky eyes and the blendability is very nice. I think that this is a good everyday palette. So if you're looking to try a Sonia Kasha palette, um, I definitely like the matte one. Another item that is new to the drugstore this month is the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. And this is a tinted brow gel. It comes in a lighter shade and I have the dark brown shade. And there's also a clear shade if you don't want any color. And if you like the stiff crunchy brows like you you have really stubborn brow hairs that kind of stick outward and won't stay down <laughs> which I have a problem with 
I recommend this one. It's definitely a good drugstore uh, brow gel. I've tried all the brow gels that are available in the drugstore and I am very pleasantly happy with this one so far. So the lipsticks I have been enjoying for the month of December are these Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate and both the black and the red tube ones. Every time I go to the drugstore or even at Ulta, these are always like sold out. All these lipsticks, they're very hard. Either they don't come in a lot in shipments or the ones that I do find, they're, they've been used and swatched. So I have to really be at the right time, at the right place, right when they have a fresh shipment of these lipsticks because they definitely sell out quickly in my area. And right now I am wearing the shade number 30 in the black tube on my lips and these are very pigmented. They're definitely nice and comfortable to wear. They don't dry out my lips, they don't bleed. So I don't have anything bad to say about these lipsticks other than that they're really hard to find. I have been really enjoying the brand new lip glosses that are out now by Revlon and this is the one with the silver top. These are definitely a different formula. It's a lot thicker and it's not sticky. I'm actually put some on on top of the uh, Rimmel lipstick. It's not a sticky finish, um, but it's very pigmented. I've worn this without lipstick and it definitely is pigmented. So I highly recommend you try these. I'm definitely going to pick up more shades. Um, this is the first one I just wanted to try out and I'm very happy with it, so I highly recommend it. And my last favorite is this L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me uh, highlighter. And this is such a beautiful, vibrant highlighter. It's so smooth and creamy when I apply it on my uh, lower lash line. And I like to also dab it in the inner corners of my eyes to highlight my eyes and I set it with the uh, eyeshadow but I'm just really impressed on how silky and how smooth this applies it doesn't snag it doesn't feel dry and it definitely lasts so I'm very very impressed and these are metallic I think it's really pretty I, I definitely recommend it I really like how it brightens my inner corners of my eyes and makes my eyes look more refreshed and more brighter. So that is it for my December favorites. All of these items I was enjoying just for the month of December. I will do a separate video on the Best of Beauty 2014 and you might see some of these things in that video. Um, I also would like you to comment down below what you enjoyed during the month of December, what kind of makeups you enjoyed. And I also wanted to do a shout out to some of my favorite YouTubers that um, I have become friends with uh, through YouTube. So I'm going to list them down below. So please check them out, subscribe, and uh, like their channel. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. And please subscribe if you have not already. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Till next time.